What's up guys and welcome to today's TRX Intermediate Session. All we're going to need apart from TRX is these bodies and intention to move well and feel great in these bodies and get after it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to start with the TRX here in a fully lengthened position and I'm going to take a wide stance here as wide as I possibly can. Strong hands on the grip here. I'm going to lean into one side. So work this lateral lunge or lateral squat into my left side and all we're going to do is shift the weight over to the right thinking about keeping the hips as low as possible. So if you have to come up a little bit, that's fine. If you have to use the support of the TRX, that's what it's there for. But let's think about just shifting the weight left and right, keeping the hips as low as we can. When we're shifting into this right side, the left toes are up. And as we shift into the left side, the right toes can come up to create a little more space. <sighs> Regulating the exhales as you shift into either side. Taking sips of air in between your reps. <sighs> Keeping nice upright posture. And I'm gonna go for 10 more here, nice and smooth. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, get nice and low. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, good, good, good. We can shake the legs loose, so that's just a great way to get rolling here with this. Open up the hips a little bit and fire up those glutes. So from there, we're gonna face away from the anchor point. And again, the TRX in this fully extended position, we're gonna keep the arms at this 45 degree angle and push all the slack out of the straps. Work from a tall tippy toe position. I'm gonna take a breath in here at the top. Hold the breath as I reach forward into this long levered plank position. And then force the air out as I return to my starting position. Working at a slow control tempo. Keeping the alignment between the hips and the shoulders. That's critical. If you notice the hips are dropping or hiking, all we're gonna do here is step forward a little bit. And that's gonna reduce the range of motion of the pattern and make it a little bit easier until we go ahead and, uh, and, and work some, uh, some practice with this. And at the same time, if it's tough, we can step back, take your breath, get long, and then get tall. So settle in where you wanna settle in, and let's work 10 reps from here. 10, keeping those legs engaged. Nine, eight, little pause at the end of every rep. Seven, six, five, four, sip of air in here, three, two more. Stay with me now. Here we go. Big reach. Last one. Beautiful, good, good, good there. We can roll the shoulders a little bit, maybe rotate the torso. Awesome way there to just get the core fired up and that overhead mobility, overhead stability. From there, let's bring the handles about halfway up. And we're gonna work and do what's called a W row. So handles are about halfway up here. Just make sure they're nice and even always. Good, strong grip on the handles. We're gonna settle into this healthy knee and hip bend and kind of lean back from there, palms are facing down. All we're gonna do is pull a high row and then finish tall in this W position. So reaching with the arms away from the body. Return and settle back in that starting position. Let's get 15 quality reps here. Forcing the air out, reaching. Sip of air in here and then hold the breath on the way back. Two. And if this is easy, you can step forward a little bit. Three. Four, five, good, six, seven, eight. Don't let those elbows drop here on the initial pull. Nine, and then really retract those shoulder blades. Ten, five more here on that W pattern. Five, four, Three, 
two. Last one, big pull, big reach, hold it, and then come back with control, marvelous. Oof, not too shabby though, that's honestly one of my favorite rows. So again, let's roll the shoulders here a little bit, work some up and unders of the arms, and then we're gonna conclude the block with a single leg hip hinge pattern. Right knee, toe up, we got that same position of the straps, one hand in each strap, we're gonna take a breath here, hinge at the hips, and then force that air out on the way up. Finishing with that knee up, toe up on this right side. So take a breath, hold it as you hinge, kick the sky with that right heel, and then finish super tall. Two, let's get six more. Three. Three more here. Three, two, control tempo here. Pausing here at this bottom position and at the top, one, beautiful. And then we'll go ahead and work the opposite side. So grounded through my right foot, left knee and toe are gonna come up. I'm gonna take my breath, hold it, work into my hinge and finish nice and tall. Driving both hands into the TRX handles. Three, shoulders finishing right over my hips. Knee up, toe up. Four, so I'm getting long here. And then I'm getting tall. Five. Six, two more. Seven. And eight, smooth. Not too shabby, guys. Take three deep breaths here if you needed a quick sip of water and we're gonna reset the TRX and knock out one more round from the top, starting with that Cossack squat. So roll the shoulders, kick the legs loose a little bit, take your breaths, a little bit of water, and when you're ready, go ahead and join me. I got the TRX in a fully extended position. We're gonna take that wide stance, and we're gonna look for 10 reps on each side, shifting left and right here. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Starting on my left side with my right toes up, one, keeping nice alignment, nice posture, using only what I need from the TRX. Six. Heads in neutral. Halfway home here, guys. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! That'll get you every time. Break the knees up a little bit. Let's shake the legs loose. That's awesome. And then let's work into that rollout. Another awesome pattern here to just fire that nervous system right up. So arms are fully extended. TRX is still in this long position. Take my breath in here. Tippy toe base. Hold it. Pause, force that air out on the way up. Sip of air in, two. Legs are engaged, three. Four. Five. Six. Big reach, seven. Three more. Nine. One more. Big breath. Big reach. Hold it. And four Saturday out on the way up. Smooth, 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 guys. Working through this, no problem. So let's go ahead and bring this guy up to that halfway position. Making sure the handles are even. And then we'll get our second set here of those W rows. So a little bend in the hips and knees here. Lean back into it. We're gonna work this high row pattern first and then extend into the W. Nice and smooth, 14 more. Two, three, Keeping everything in nice neutral alignment. Once you have your angle where your hips are set at, keep them there. Don't be all sloppy and moving around. Whew. 
Little pauses at either end of the rep. Let's get six more with your breath. Six, five, make sure those palms are facing down here at the bottom of this pattern. Four, three, two, and one. Smooth, 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 smooth. Let's roll the shoulders a little bit, shake the hands loose, shake the feet loose. And let's get one more set there of those single leg hinges. Awesome pattern here. Again, to integrate, to connect the upper and lower body. So I'm starting with my right foot grounded, left knee up, toe up. I'm gonna take my breath in, hold it as I work into this single leg hinge, and then actively push down on the TRX straps to bring that left knee and toe back up. Let's work here. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Two more. Big pause. Seven. And eight. Beautiful. Knee up, toe up on the opposite side. We're gonna take a breath, hold it, pause. Two, three, four, five, six, two more. Good hinge, good pause. Sweep it tall, seven, and eight. Beautiful, woo! Not too shabby, beautiful people. I hope you guys are feeling as good as I am right now. I got a good sweat going, got a good burn going. Thank you as always for showing up here and taking the time for yourselves, and I'll catch you guys in the very next Movement Flow.